Hello and welcome to Space News with What the Math. This is Space News for the first week of December 2015, and let's just jump into it and find out what is or what has happened in the space news around the world. And we're going to start with this first one right here, and this is about a very interesting, very cool mission. And essentially, what this says here is that we found the crash site of one of Apollo 16's. Uh, boosters on the moon. We actually have spotted it and we know exactly where it landed. If you don't know what Apollo 16 was, uh, this was when uh, we landed more humans on the moon. Specifically, this was the fifth mission to land humans on the moon. And this was one of the stages from the Saturn V rocket. Now, obviously, by itself, it's not very exciting, but you know what? Being able to spot something so tiny on such a huge surface, I think is a pretty big achievement. And I think a lot of people around the world are pretty excited about this. And if you click on the link that I posted in the description, you get to watch this video that will show you what they did during the mission on the moon. Yes, that's right. They were having a lot of fun. Not much science at all. This is awesome. Kind of jealous of what they were doing, actually. Moving on, let's actually talk about something a little bit uh, different. This is related to space, but it's also related to science and things that will make you smarter. Now, there's a really amazing, really awesome experiment that can show you how to detect subatomic particles that are essentially passing through our bodies, passing through everything on Earth, uh, and are essentially coming from, you know, from outer space and passing through, our, through us. And to, uh, to basically try to recreate this uh, experiment, I would like you to watch this video uh, by yourselves because you do need to kind of listen and watch to how to actually do this. And if, you're, uh, if you actually manage to recreate this at home, it will actually show you subatomic particles that are buzzing through our uh, bodies. Check this out. This is what essentially it looks like. And so you'll be able to detect them even at home, which is, I think, pretty awesome. And then some more unusual and somewhat controversial news from Australia. Physicists were able to prove that time travel is possible. And they, they claim to uh, have sent particles of light back in time and created some sort of a time loop that you can kind of see right here. Now, whether this is uh, correct or whether they're just kind of possibly made a mistake or even making this up, only time will tell. That's right, time will tell. But obviously, this is a contradiction of Einstein's theory of relativity. But at the same time, this, according to them, may be explained by the quantum physics, which is why they said it was possible and how they were able to detect all of this. So read about their experiment in the article in the description. And then there's another article about a uh, space situation in China. And basically, uh, US very recently had a report waiver where they've actually established that Chinese are very likely to be the dominant superpower when it comes to space within the next few years. And you can read about this report in the, in the link I'm posting in the description. And it's a pretty interesting read, actually, because it gives me hope that maybe one day we'll have a mission to Mars. And while I'm still alive and kicking, and it might be a mission by the Chinese space agency. Because you know what? Nobody else seems to be interested in it anymore. And they just keep making plans and then canceling them. That's not no fun. Anyway, let's talk about some really good news. And the good news is that uh, the infamous company Virgin actually is deciding to use one of their uh, 747 Jumbo jets as a new launch platform for their tourist missions to space. Basically, they're going to attach a little rocket on the bottom right here and then uh, launch it from when the jet is flying really high in the air. This is something we've actually recreated many, many times in Kerbal Space Program. And I even made a video about this uh, doing history of space in Kerbal Space Program, and it's not very difficult. It's actually a very feasible mission. The only problem is that they will have to redesign their launcher completely. What they currently use looks like this. It's a somewhat successful airplane design, and it has a rocket right here. But as you may know, it actually, um, one of them actually crashed, uh, I believe it was last year, and it killed its pilot. So many people are kind of not really feeling safe flying on these. So instead, Virgin decided to introduce this new thingy called Galactic Launcher 1, and they'll try to create this and launch it from 747. In somewhat uh, unrelated news, uh, there is a web page called change.org, which is sort of like online petitions for various things. And here, there's a really interesting petition going on that actually has been signed by 51,500 people already, and uh, they're getting close to their goal. But basically, they want to change the name of planet Kepler-22b, a planet about which we'll be talking really soon in one of the future videos, to Namek. Or is it Namek? I don't really know, because I don't watch that TV show, but... It's from Dragon Ball Z, and it's apparently one of the planets in that TV show, in that uh, anime, and in there they have a 
a very lavish planet that uh, kind of looks like this and they want to rename Kepler-22b to Namek. And I mean, I'm fine with that. It sounds awesome. But why Namek? Why Dragon Ball Z? And why aren't more people doing this whole petitioning thing? Because there's so many planets that we need to rename. Honestly, Kepler-186f is a mouthful. We should rename it into something cool. Next on the list, I'm going to post this link in the description as well. And this is the best space photos of the month. And some of them are absolutely incredible. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is a photo from, uh, I believe this is from International Space Station. There's also the photos of Pluto as we were approaching it and as we snapped shots of it. There is a photo of a distant galaxy whose name is MCJ0102015. And a lot of other absolutely gorgeous photos. But the one that I was totally blown away by was right right here there we go this is actually a group of galaxies this is not stars this is a group of galaxies that form the smiley face and it has a name it, they actually named it the cheshire cat because it kind of looks like a smiling cat from um, alice in wonderland but what you're seeing here and the reason why there is this really interesting effect is not because of a black hole this is actually because of dark matter this is probably one of the most interesting proofs of visible effects of dark matter on our universe so the light Light that was sort of coming from really really distant galaxies got bent and sort of folded by the dark matter somewhere in between them. This is actually an amazing looking picture and it has quite an incredible effect that I've never seen before. This is it actually totally blew my mind when I saw it. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. And it totally looks like a face as well. And lastly, before we finish, uh, this is not really news as much as just a random fun thingy I found on the web very recently. And this is uh, sort of like the inspirational quotes slash advices given by various US astronauts when they went to space, when they came back from space. And this is just something that they wanted to have fun with. And they're just really funny. So don't take some of them seriously, but they are pretty funny. So this is from Charles Duke. And he says, imagine your body as a potato. Now imagine no gravity acting on that potato. And bingo, that's what space feels like. I, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, Bernard uh, A. Harris Jr. said, the best part was getting your picture taken while deadlifting a 3,000 pound barbell. There's no gravity, so it's super easy to lift, but you still look really strong. Man, you know what? That I would probably take that selfie as well because you do look pretty strong. Next, Terry uh, Verts, there is no golf there. True. So if you are a golfer, you may consider not ever going to space because you won't be able to play golf. And lastly, this is my favorite, and this is from Barry Wilmore. You never know true beauty until you see Earth from space or true terror until you hear someone knocking on the space station door from the outside. You look through the porthole and see an astronaut, but all your crew is inside and accounted for. You use the comm to ask who it is, and he says he's Ramirez, returning from a repair mission. But Ramirez is sitting right next to you in the command module, and he's just as confused as you are. When you tell the guy this over the radio, he starts banging on the door louder and harder, begging you to let him in, saying he's the real Ramirez. Meanwhile, the Ramirez inside with you is splitting to keep the airlock shut. It really puts life on Earth into perspective. That was probably something I should have used for Halloween, because that, that actually freaked me out, but... I think that was a pretty awesome quote and I probably they just wanted to have fun with people that are going to space because it's an incredible experience and hopefully one day we'll all get to experience it so let's cross our fingers and hope this happens. Anyway so that's it for space news for the first week of December 2015 and I'm posting all of these links that I mentioned in the description below and if you enjoyed this video please like it share it with your friends and your family and also please post a comment so what would be your inspirational quote had you gone to space if you had gone to space and returned what would you tell people what kind of a funny inspirational or smart thing would you say to them I think mine would be I think you should shave your head because washing hair in space is a lot of trouble. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Game you later and bye-bye.